Good Penske story. Penske is a really smart guy, one of the smartest guys in racing. But he has uh, a deal where he's a little got the same tactic as Jack Roush, where he'll kind of put some of his employees against each other to see stimulate a competitive spirit between them. And he's got a deal to run a cup car, uh, so he's thrown out one set of rules to Jay Signori, who hit up the IROC program. Jay has picked Frog Fagan to be the crew chief and Dave Marcus to be the driver. Well, he also offers the same opportunity to Don Miller. Don Miller picks me to be the crew chief, Rusty Wallace to be the driver, and a guy named Don Kearns to build the motors. So Miller at that time was head of all the Penske tire Penske, Grand, uh, Goodyear East and West. It was a Penske distributorship for Goodyear race tires. So anyway, uh, some way Miller gets the nod. So he calls me and tells me what we got to do and so forth. And uh, so I'm going to be working for Penske for a temporary basis. But anyway, so I go to Reading, Pennsylvania. And it's in the same shop with the IndyCar. So... It's kind of a neat, clean place and all. I'm, I'm, I like this. This is good. So the first first round of the box, he bought a partial, what you call a partial, was an incomplete car from Banjo Matthews. So the car's not finished, and i got to get it finished, and we're going to go to Atlanta to test. So first thing is we've got to put the receiver in for to fuel the car in the quarter pan. It's just a slick quarter panel, no, no hole for that. So they're in a quandary about how they're going to get the hole in the side of this car. And some of the machine people say, well, we could get it close to the bridge port and turn the head sideways and cut it with a bridge port. And then the parts guys are saying possibly we could um, order a hole saw that big to cut the hole. And I pick up a screwdriver and a hammer and knock a hole in it. I got a pair of snips in my other hand. And I, as soon as I knock the hole in it with a screwdriver, then I take the snips and cut the hole and we go right on. And Miller, he was okay then. He said, this guy's going to get the job done. We're going to be all right. So we go to Atlanta and test. And the test goes good. We run fast. Rusty does a good job. He was running uh, Orca at that time and probably leading he was running USAC and ARCA I guess at that time and and probably running in a tight point battle with AJ Foyt. AJ was still running a car in that series. And of course they were feuding among the two teams because Rusty was about wild as you could anybody you could ever imagine and his crew was the same way. So then they was against AJ's bunch, so they didn't get along very well. They were kind of feuding against each other. So it's it's all okay. Uh, but we go to Atlanta for the race. Well, the way you s were positioned in the garage area was according to your points. Well, the fact that it, neither AJ or Rusty run many races in NASCAR, we're right next to each other in the garage. Well, that's special. Um, but I got along, you know, with... I'd known all them guys on AJ's crew forever and got along good. So we run along there. We get going pretty good. And uh, we have motor trouble. And it was a, a weird deal. It really wasn't the motor man's fault. It was a, we had a problem with a crew. Crew member had was thinking of a rule from the year before and had a block off plate over the oil cooler. We were generating too much. We didn't really blow a motor. We were generating too much oil temperature. So... Uh, we don't have a spare motor. So Miller comes to me and he said, where, where in the hell could we get get a motor? And I said, well, I'd probably, probably borrow one from AJ. And he said, you think you could do that? He said, I, you would have to do it because we couldn't let Penske go to AJ because the two of them were against each other in the IndyCar series. And we're bitter enemies. So 
the fact that I was able to go to Fort and borrow a motor was was an accomplishment. And the fact that I got along with both both crews, by the time it was time to race, all the crews was getting along good with each other, carrying on laughing and joking. So it was good to see people get get along together. We run the race and uh, got going pretty good. And uh, we was running along. We run in the top, probably the top five, top 10, pretty much all day. Uh, there was an incident on pit road. At that time, there was no speed limit on pit road. And uh, Rusty runs into the back of Benny, knocks him into the wall, and it messed up the front end a little bit. So we come in and change tires and go back out. We're still running a top five, but Penske wants me to bring him in so we can do some aerodynamic work. Well, that that didn't go good because we're still in the lead lap. We come in and pit on the green. We're going to be a lap down. And in those days, there was no lucky dog. And it was going to be a lot. It was going to be impossible to get your lap back that at that late in the race. So I kind of went against... Uh, Penske's thoughts on that, and that's a, a subject that is, is all, we always debate in my family of whether I should have done what Roger suggested or done what I thought was best. Uh, anyway, we keep going. We doctored a little bit on the next pit stop. Uh, Earnhardt was leading and Kale second. We were third and Kale drops out. Uh, Earnhardt wins and we run second, which was would have liked a one, but it was probably okay. It got rusty as a good start uh, in the NASCAR series. You know, got got some acceptance. His people, uh, the other drivers, respected respected him, and and we run a couple more races and uh, didn't quite have that good a finish. We run a modified race at Talladega with Rusty's car and won the race. So. Uh, all that was good. Uh, really, really appreciated Don Miller's support. He was the guy that I had to answer to, and he kind of gave me a free reign on the whole deal and running second, first time out. I guess I, I hope that was was a feather for his time. There's a fork in the road in a dead end side. Well, I'm pushing this forward just as fast as she'll fight. 